okay I am here to do part two of my um, Thailand trip and part two is gonna be really short we went to Chiang Mai after Bangkok um, we only spent two full days in Chiang Mai so we got there on Tuesday evening and we so we stayed Wednesday Thursday and then we flew back to Bangkok Friday night because our flight to back to the US was very early Saturday morning so anyways um, didn't really do much in Chiang Mai because of the short time we had there uh, the first evening we just stroll along the city we stayed at bed Ninmen so we stayed in the Ninmen area um, so a lot of places were within walking distance uh, we strolled through the city we got massages I mean come on I said right massages every day literally we had massages every day so that evening we had dinner we had massages we uh, visited the Maya mall and it's it's similar to a standard American mall um, just like some that we visited in Bangkok um, so they had all of the familiar stores in there and um, so yeah a nice mall they also had a rooftop bar at that mall and we didn't really drink or anything there we just went to check out the view and um, yeah so that evening uh, we just you know layers of air it was just a relaxing evening um, they have a night uh, vendor, a night market, food market um, that comes alive at night right near the Maya Mall. And Like their mall. Okay. 
Oh my god, be good chicken. Ooh. Okay, like it. That's so like bad. Damn. Oh. Oh, I love the chicken. The second day, uh, we went to visit the temple at Doisutep. So they have these red vans that's like a what we call like a maxi taxi back home. So it picks up multiple passengers, and you pay like forty baht. From one, was it 40 or 30? I think it was 40. Either way, that's like a dollar and change. And so it just um, goes around the city, goes around Chiang Mai from, you know, different points. You just tell them where you want to drop off. So we took the red van, the red bus to, there's a central point near the zoo. And from there, you take another red van that will take you to Doisetep, to the temple. And um, the temple there was absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure a lot of you have seen these pictures on Instagram. And so we took the cable car up to the temple um, and then we walked down the steps. So. That was nice. The temple, I did not go inside because I forgot to carry my socks. And Chiang Mai, uh, one of the things to know about Chiang Mai is that the temperature is colder up there. So the temperature up there is about 15 degrees, 15 to 20 degrees uh, colder than Bangkok. So the temple, the floor of the temple was extremely cold for me. <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, I'm not walking in there barefooted. And I already didn't want to walk barefooted to start with. And now the floor cold. So I didn't go inside the temple. Um, but my friend went and, you know, I got a couple pictures from her. And uh, yeah, we strolled around that area and then after we left the temple we went to they have like vendors selling again the same things you find in the other markets in bangkok but cheaper i noticed that a lot of the items in chiang mai are cheaper i find everything relatively speaking is cheaper in chiang mai the transportation is cheaper food is well food is cheap in bangkok too but a lot of the items at the vendor markets were cheaper so um yeah so it was nice it was just nice there um that day was cool um the views were nice from up by the temple it was just it was just Chiang Mai Maxi Taxi. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's these red buses. Like, uh, let me show you. It's red. Yeah. So, they pick up multiple passengers, unlike the taxis, and it's cheaper. It's beautiful. Thank you. 
said they were taking us to Chiang Mai Zoo. Yeah, and we get a shuttle from there. Maybe that's closer. I don't know what that was, but it was nice. Some kind of park. charge us 30 baht to get to here from the hotel well not the hotel exactly we have to walk to the main street anyways and then from here it's gonna cost us 40 baht to the temple and then I think it's like another 50 baht to get into the temple and then when we get to the temple we have to decide whether we're going to take a, a cart thing to go to the top or if we go on walk it's 300 steps so um, after being here for a few days we're not gonna walk <laughs> our feet are like um, yeah no ma'am so we will take the if it's scary looking I'm not going on it I tell you right now <laughs> <laughs> There might be better picture opportunities on the path, though, so that's something to consider. Yeah, so it depends on where, yeah. We'll check it out when we get there. Yeah. cable car is here oh wow so we take in the cable car we are in the cable car. Yes, so we decided against walking. Yeah, it's a little bit scary, but it's a little bit scary. 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 It's a it's like a family from Florida, right? Okay. 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 Ok
Okay, so this is the top of the steps. Oh, okay. So this is where people would have been walking up. Oh my god. It's 
Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai has a very relaxing, peaceful type of energy. Oh, I love, I love, I love Chiang Mai. I just love Chiang Mai. And um, I could live there. I could, I feel like I want to retire there. Uh, we had a friend that lives there and he absolutely loves it. It's so much more relaxing than Bangkok. <laughs> Bangkok is like New York City, you know, hustle and bustle. And then Chiang Mai is like Long Island. I don't know if that's a good reference, but it's way calmer. Um, the next day, what will you do the next day? Oh, we tried to go to the Elephant Sanctuary the next day. We didn't get through because we had to make bookings prior and we didn't. That's from not doing proper research. So instead, um, so we wasted a lot of time there. And instead we passed by the Tiger Kingdom. Now when I Google the Tiger King Kingdom online, it said that the animals uh, were not sedated. I don't know for sure. Um, but so we went there. I did not go inside the cage with the tiger because, uh, yeah, I'm adventurous, but there's just some things I didn't go inside. But one of my friends did, and um, he liked it. <laughs> he got some good pictures. But yeah, it was really nice to see the tigers up close. I like that outfit. <laughs> that one over there. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's two. There's this one yeah. and there's that one. Oh. Hold on, sorry. Yeah, take my picture. <laughs> How much for your scarves? Yeah, you can buy scarves. Yes, you can buy scarves. How much? Oh, 200. Oh, wow, this is unusual. Oh. 200 for a scarf, she might not. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Welcome. Thank you. You make all of these? For uh, my parents. Your parents? Oh, okay. Is her making the scarf? She made all of these. That's the auto session, I feel. Go ahead. You need to go? No. <laughs> I good. You good. So that night we went to a, a night market in Chiang Mai. It's more, this night market was more like a street market. So there were vendors all along the street. And then you cross over and there's vendors all along the street. There were vendors everywhere. But it was more, it was so it was nothing like have some road. It's very, it's very calm. <laughs> it's very calm. It's just, and you know, the prices again, there was so much cheaper, so much cheaper. I mean, I love Chiang Mai. I absolutely love Chiang Mai. Now I will, I, I will insert 
footage of this market and I would insert footage of there was a market we went to in Bangkok called Chata something <laughs> I'll put the name on the screen we went there because I don't think I put footage of that in part one and you can see the difference between the two markets I mean the market in Bangkok was just hustle bustle hustle 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 bustle 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 it was just like packed with people it was nice you get a lot I mean anything you want to get you can get it there and the market in Chiang Mai though no, was just like a nice little stroll just strolling along you know completely different atmosphere but you have to experience you have to experience both going to the markets is a must it's, it's just a must that's where you get all the good stuff um, you can get what did I get I got some uh, leather goods where did I get that I got that I think I got that in Bangkok yeah I got that in that market that night market in Bangkok and um, you can get, you know, your handbags, uh, um, you can get a lot of fake stuff too. I mean, you looking for fake handbags and stuff? Yeah, they, 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 they got it all. They got it all. I didn't buy any of that. Um, yeah, no. Oh, I forgot I got some earrings too. I got some earrings. And yeah, when we went up to the Doi Tep. Um, to the temple up there there's the jade factory up there and that's why I got some actually I have right here I got um I got a bracelet I don't typically wear bracelets because I have extremely small wrists but anyway so I got this bracelet from the jade factory Right, and there's a lifetime guarantee on this bracelet so and the reason why I got this one because it's adjustable so it can fit on my wrist and they said that you know you can get this wet anytime so but I don't go into the shower with jewelry on anyways so. But anyways, I'm trying to put it on here so I can show you. So yeah, so here it is. Yeah, it's cute. And then I got a pendant. And I think between both items I paid like a hundred some dollars. Think. How much did I spend? Yep, $155 I spent between both items. Uh, so this is the pendant that I got. So yeah, I love my pieces. You know, I like very delicate type jewelry because I'm a little person. So, you know, big jewelry just don't, I mean, I just can't carry it. <laughs> so, anyways, um, so that was one of my splurges there. And the next day, it was time to come home. So, yeah, that was pretty much Chiang Mai. I, you know, the next time I go to Thailand, and there will be a next time, I definitely will not spend as much time in Bangkok I don't regret spending that much time in Bangkok because it was our first time and I wanted to see all there is to see in Bangkok and still didn't see all that there is to see in Bangkok um, but the next time I go I feel like I could, I could just spend like one or two days do some shopping go to the markets pack up and head north <laughs> to Chiang Mai visit the other uh, cities up north there's Chiang Mai, there's Pai, there's a whole lot to do in those areas if you're adventurous there are waterfalls 
there are hiking trails, zip lining, there's a lot to do, there's the elephant sanctuary, there is just so much to do and unfortunately the way our days ran, my birthday's on New Year's Eve and I wanted to spend that day in Bangkok so it fell like the way it fell we had we spent more time in Bangkok you know it worked out that way but now I know for next time yeah I went through Bangkok I saw the temples visited the markets and all that good stuff get out and head on north now you're probably wondering why we didn't go down south to the beach areas well first of all <laughs> thank God we didn't because while we were there there was a tsunami warning in Phuket and they were evacuating the whole area so child yeah my mother would have a heart attack okay <laughs> but I live in South Florida I am from Trinidad and Tobago beaches is not it doesn't really appeal to me and listen I look at a lot of videos of Krabby, Phuket, um, the Fifi and all those islands down south and a lot of those areas um, have been really damaged by tourists by us you know with the pollution and the crowds and I mean I'm sure there's a lot of beautiful places down south but I don't know I just don't really have a desire uh, I, I do beach here all the time listen I just came from Cayman Islands uh, last year best beaches ever so you know I'm a Caribbean baby I'm a beach baby so I'm used to beaches so I am not really like that's not my thing now if you live in a winter climate and you don't see beach you might want to go down south and experience that ain't nothing wrong with that I would say do your research try to stay away from the crowded areas like Phuket is very expensive because of uh, um, the, the high influx of tourists um, so yeah consider all of that it's more expensive down south just because there's so much a tourist down there um, but for me I want to spend I want to go back up north that's where I want to go and um, yeah I feel like I will get my money's worth and the experience that I'm looking for um, by going to the northern cities and I don't want to be down there next thing you know tsunami coming and thing and I'll pack up quick 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 I can run no 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 <laughs> no <laughs> so um so yeah so this wraps up really my Thailand trip okay uh, I'm going to do a next video and in that video I'm just gonna talk about some tips some advice, what not to do, what to do, etc. So that video is coming up next, immediately after this video. So thank you so much for watching. I know my videos are long, but listen, that's how it is, okay? That's how it is. So but this one shouldn't be too long. So anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.